Hello, all you lovely people. I want to know, can we beat Kingdom Rush on Veteran with just Musketeers and Bolin? So obviously, I can use up to level 3 archers because you don't have any choice for the first, you know, however many levels. But I cannot use the rangers that I just showed you. They will be in hiding. So, one thing that I'm really looking forward to in this challenge is just the simple fact that I rarely use this tower. Okay, I need to mention too, on this level, using only level 3 archers is the way that I have to do this. With frickin' Bolin, who's, I mean, he's not the worst hero ever he can shoot out some tar that slows people down he actually can melee okay he's got some decent hp and everything but really this level this is this is a challenge man beating this level with just level three archers but here we are man juggernaut's gonna go down i'll just spoil it for you i beat him okay it's close but i beat him a little bit of meteors here i mean people have beaten this level like war champion and some other people have beaten this level with no towers at all. So surely I can do it with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I probably miscounted level three archer towers, okay? There he goes, shooting his missiles at me. Dodging him is actually pretty fun. You should try it sometime. So we're through. Oh yeah, we finally got the musketeers. Let's go ahead and call this the three musketeer challenge. Who's the third one, might you ask, since there's two in this challenge? shooting everyone with their guns. The third one is Bolin, okay? He's a bit lackluster, but you know, he does some crowd control. That's pretty cool. He could be worse, but he could certainly be better. So we're moving on. Those few easy levels are out of the way. Now we're onto this level. This level has always given me trouble. We made it to wave 15 and lost. Really the problem is that I'm just not that great of a player, okay? Wow, what a surprise. I just, I always just rush through these and try to do it as fast as I can and insta-call everything. And that is a really bad habit. I've said it in many videos before and I'll say it again. Stop rushing, not quite my tempo. So you just slow down and then bam. Now here we are, the abominable snowman. He's trying to eat my guys. I'm trying to dodge him. It's, it's pretty tricky, man. But he's going down. Shouldn't be too bad. This level's pretty easy. I'm a bit nervous about the upcoming swarms and high armored enemies. Like I said earlier, I rarely used the Musketeer Garrison. Okay, don't taunt me with Tesla, jerk. Tesla was just always what I would go to for many years playing this game. This tower though, I've seen a lot of people use it online. A lot of people say good things. It really can mostly do everything. I mean, obviously here, I'm struggling with these armored guys. That's the biggest thing. So if you were using a different hero, they wouldn't be that much of a problem, but we're still making it through, right? <laughs> this level's not gonna be impossible, right? Uh, but they pretty much have it all. They got good damage. They don't miss, which is awesome because some of their archer towers miss and it just really bothers me to see like 20 arrows in the ground. <laughs> it's just, it's really annoying. Their insta-kill ability is pretty awesome. They can shoot like twice as far as their normal range with the long shot that insta-kills people. So that can take care of some of the big guys. Dang, this level. This is, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. And they got their shotgun ability. This thing and their long shot ability both recharge very quickly. This is one of the reasons that this tower is really just awesome. These abilities happen every like, seven to 14 seconds or something like that between the two of them that's very frequent for how powerful they are plus if you're playing this on the steam version the max amount of the shotgun ability for this tower the max amount of damage just for the steam version not for ios like i play which is always just the nerfed version that sucks for the steam version the shotgun ability according to the wiki says that it'll always do the max amount of damage which i think is around like 700 and it happens every like eight seconds or something like that you need to look it up it's freaking crazy like that is ridiculous i'm just playing at such a disadvantage on ios but anyways until i finally pulled the trigger on buying all these games on steam which i don't know if i really want to do too soon but probably should i don't know what do you guys think you can tell me in the comments should I just move on from playing on my phone? Because it's very convenient and it's easy to record things and edit videos and stuff. But 
the gameplay is just so much worse. I'm just at a massive disadvantage. Frick, guys. I'm busy talking. Look. We take down the last boss, baby. <laughs> Holy crap. So can you beat Kingdom Rush on Veteran with just guns? Just Musketeers and just Bullen. The three Musketeers, yeah! Like it, subscribe or something, or taste my boomstick!